Hello everyone. Well, I just wanted to start out this video by saying that if I sound a bit like I've got the flu at the moment, that's because I've got the flu at the moment. But earlier last week, before I had the flu, I was in a multi-class race in iRacing. I just happened to choose the slowest class of all, so there was no way I was ever going to win or even come close. But rather than quitting out, I thought it was a good opportunity to practice my backmarking skills. You might not think so, but being a good backmarker is a skill in and of itself. Not only do you have to keep your eye on the track in front of you, just like you normally would, but you also have to keep an eye on what's coming up behind you. This race was perfect for demonstrating that as I was being comprehensively smashed. But by the same token, I thought this video was a great opportunity to show some of the do's and don'ts of backmarking. If you watch my video from a couple of videos back, MX5 at VIR, or the Virginia International, there was a part where I was in the lead and I was coming up on a backmarker who jammed his brakes on and I nearly collected him. Okay, he did eventually yield, but he picked a pretty inopportune place to do it. I actually nearly hit him from behind. So there's your first don't of being a backmarker. Don't jam your brakes on. The idea is that when you find the most opportune spot, just take your foot off the accelerator. So now I'm going to skip forward to the part in this race where the leader is coming up from behind. So there you've just seen three guys overtake me in quick succession. They're pretty easy to spot because they're the group one cars. So there's two things that I'm really doing there. One is not jamming on my brakes. The other is trying to get off the racing line as much as possible. So another two guys just passed me there. And as you saw, I'm just completely not getting in their way. So anyway guys, that's how you do it. That's how you be a good backmarker. Now let's have a look at how not to be a good backmarker. In this race at ACC at Monza, I'm in third place, a few cars back out of camera shot. We're currently looking at the leader and the guy in second. The guy in the white car just in front of them is the backmarker who's at least a lap behind. He really should be on the left hand side out of the racing line. He loses control, takes out the leader, and causes the guy in second to spin, the result of him taking evasive action. This could well be the worst piece of backmarking I've ever seen. This is it from the guy in second's perspective. It's 
Smee you just saw driving through there to claim the lead. And now finally from the leader's perspective, and you can really see how this guy just so got in the way. been able to recover pretty quickly but his car was pretty severely damaged and then you see me come up and overtake him he just couldn't keep up after that and I went ahead to win the race. So anyway guys there you have it how to be a good backmarker and how to be a terrible backmarker. Thanks for watching everyone.